on one. Stevens to Egan, just put it behind her. Had to stop and prop. Moody in a two on one, almost spilled it. Egan at the back. Now Hill, quick hands, feeds it. And Volato go at it off the ball in the end. Egan back to press Barkers. She Taris oh. presents. Split the pack, just couldn't bring the ball to the advantage of her teammates. Once again, giving the pie some breathing space, but it might be only momentarily as Egan. He's dispossessed. McKay's been really busy in the third. Egan, good hands. The ball back to the umpire from the bottom of the pack. She's had 19 touches. Five minutes in the third. They're going to need to do that again here. Can they get something started? They're trying to wrestle free, but credit to Collingwood. They've managed to shut the game down. And here's a chance for Carlton. Egan will have it, and she'll pump it inside 50. Harris will come in from the side. Hosking falls in her lap. Little handball away. Umpire said play on. Ball still there for Georgia Stath as she's taken the ground and wrapped up. Umpire will call it, come in and ball it up. They need a goal. They need some reward to show for it because. Coming in the other direction. Egan goes in hard against Berry. Best by Lynch. Little flick from G to Egan involved again. Uncontested in the end. G was clever. Nice step there from Egan. It ends up back in the hands of G. Loins works the one-two with G. Can she finish for the Blues? Great team football. Player gave it back to Hill. Blue starting to link well by hand in the second term. Kick the opening three. Egan to press Barkas with the... Egan missed the target. Egan's now got to win it at ground level. Spins through the first tackle. Throws it on the boot. Gets it to ground. Egan arrives in support. Huntington there for the dogs. Egan wraps her up. Huntington throws her hands in the air to say, I'm not holding the football in. It'll... Lynch... Goes towards Georgia's stack. Corner of her eye. It didn't come off and Egan all steady. You go wide and find Hosking. Did pretty well to control the ball, but couldn't get a possession away. Moravin, big game for both sides. Trying to stay in touch with the top six. Egan did it beautifully. Will quickly go deep inside 50. George tried to find Egan. Coming through Ali Brown. And now Carlton will get the opportunity to... Two. Dylan still working hard. Here is Prasparkas again on the left boot. Will it carry in the breeze? It will. She gets the bounce. And Maddie Prasparkas, the youngster. Patrikios stepping up in the last. Egan has Prasparkas now. They've got a nice build up here. She steps around the Saints defender. Now with Hosking, who has another runner in board. A chain of handballs. Handball to Egan. As Alex just said. And give the team the, the ability to score is fantastic. Three tackles from a deep forward as well, or you know. Dutchridge did well. It's just a kick in hope into the corridor. Grace Egan. Been excellent today. Up to 24 disposals. Well, it was intended for Moody. They'll get another go here. Free kick to Mimi Hill. And this is Egan. Blow. Stevens to Vessio. Moody, McKay, Egan. Player on the mark, took the mark. Don't see that often in Aussie rules. Lala Weefe read the kick, took the mark, and she's going to have another go here. Egan to centre half back. Gearin. Recovery. Although she's caught. Mitchell couldn't take it. Lala Weefe, Lala Weefe does. And Lala Weefe then to Egan. Big hands. Mimi Hill. Here at Princess Park. Blues take it out of the centre. Is it for McKay? Still they've got it. Egan. To the corridor. Style. Chris Barkas. Handball's back in board. And now oh, we've seen the miracle on grass. We've seen you, Dicko, kick a goal after the siren. It's only six seconds left. There's, there's plenty of time. Oh, no. Free kick to the Blues. And now they're going to eat it up. It's hard. The top to O'Day, good link play. Hamble was just slightly behind Egan. She had to go back and fetch it. McKay tries to strip it, gets it to Egan. Harris goes towards Vessio. Egan flips it out. Radically 12 days out of action. Lala Weefield goes short to Egan. Abitangelo read it off the boot, just couldn't quite get there to affect the spoil. Bessio, now she's got to try and scrap as the cavalry arrive. Egan provides the support. Playing tackle without the foot of the umpires are letting it go here. At least they're being concerned.
So the perfect start for them. Egan in the middle for the Blues. Again goes towards the boundary line. Vander Heuvel spills the footy. Egan, under pressure, gets it to Loins. First, the second term. I let it play. Barber puts the pressure on. Egan, back out to Pound. Down the line they go. Prostarkis is back on. Well, there she is. She's got the left elbow heavily strapped. We have to wait to see how she goes with it. Disappointed though because it was a couple of indiscretions by Geelong that able to thought they were going to let it, it then. go. Well, yeah, they were circling, <laughs> but then let it go. Do that consistently. No, she's very dangerous. And Vessio with the goal assist there too has two goal assists to go with two goals of her own. Vessio. She's been Egan. I've been very impressed with her game this afternoon as well. Just the seven disposals, but what she does with that is so creative. That is the battle. Bowers versus Press Barker. She went again, got it to Egan. Egan to O'Day. She can snap Goldwood to the square. That's the second effort. That is an excellent second effort. And really busy and influential. Egan wanted to give the handball back to, to spoil the dangerous Duffy to O'Sullivan. Smothered off her boot. Duffy goes again. No space to work in there. Good smother there from Moore Lalawifi. will come in and almost wrap them both up. Egan extracted the football towards Stevens at half forward and once sharp bundled over the line by Egan and Pound. Delivers it back inside 50. O'Sullivan came out. Egan, O'Day back to Egan. Kept going, slapped it inboard. Good play, Blues. Egan, O'Day, handball over the top to Brazali. She sockers off the deck, free kick. Carlton. It's coming back to Grace Egan for a hold off the ball. A minute left. Chance for a late one here for the Blues. Egan just pulls the kick in the press bar. Comes Egan. She'll be under pressure from Grieve. Does well. Spins through. Doesn't quite hit the kick, but as it worked out, it was. How if he's sweeping it behind? Wrapped up by Egan, and Presparkas comes on and makes her in that hard ball get. Towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Egan again caught behind. Able to follow up with a good tackle on Perry. Back lending support. McKay goes to Egan instead. Beautifully read by G. Touch. Just both players let it bounce in the end. And it come. 116 and they're missing momentarily inside that top eight. Here they come. They're up towards half forward. G keeps her feet. And then feeds it out. Important possession there to Egan. Ends up in those big moments. And to be honest, she's just really enjoying playing football. And I think when you get back to that. Comes to ground. Egan has a good look at the goals. Snaps around the body. And press. Second goal of the game. Towards half back she goes. Clever tap came there from Hammonds to Egan to Loins. Egan. Nice step inside 50. Towards the true centre half forward. In that time, Moody did enough for Carlton to get to work clearance wise. Yeah, success. Again, Moody pretty decisive. Entitled to a free kick, perhaps, as Beeson bowled her over. And the umpire goes after it again. Loins to the voice of Egan and in space over the top. When they kicked it off their foot, and Tubby Mark, Taylor. Tubby skipper. Taylor almost had that. Entry then. There's been a couple of times she's completely by herself. That ball movement. They look to go. Go 4-0 oh against the Giants. Sarika ain't getting out of the bear hug applied by Egan. Board picked off by O'Day. Buys a little time for Egan. And then it'll chip over the top to Press Parker so he can tackle and extracts it. Sessions along with Beeson for the Giants. Just watch.